The first thing you want to do is download Thinkorswim Desktop to your computer. So if you don't already have it, you can search for Thinkorswim Paper Trade, and then you want to click on the link that says Thinkorswim Desktop. You can either open a new paper trading account, or you can open an account with TD Ameritrade if you don't already have one, if you want to deposit and trade with real funds. If not, you can paper trade, or if you already have a TD Ameritrade account, you can download Thinkorswim. Once you've downloaded Thinkorswim, you'll be on a page like this. To the left, you'll notice you have a place for news. You can type in any ticker and see its news. Below that, you'll have a small chart to where you can watch anything. I like to watch SPY which is the S&P 500, and then below that you can toggle your watch list. If you want to add anything to your watch list, you just go to add, type in the name of the watch list, and type in whatever ticker you want to add, in this case AMD, and then you click save. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have my watch list created. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're on the charts section. And then I like to get rid of this gray background and these grid lines. So I'm going to click on settings, and I'm going to go to appearance, and then I'm going to uncheck grid and I'm going to change the background to black. Hit apply and then OK and you'll notice that the grid lines are gone and the background is now black. Next I want to go back to settings and hit equities and uncheck the show volume subgraph and show extended hours trading sessions. This will get rid of the volume box at the bottom and allow you to see overnight gaps in the chart. Now I'm going to edit my time frames. If you click on the D you'll notice that there are a bunch of default time frames already listed. You can edit these by clicking on Customize List at the bottom. I personally don't like these default time frames, so I delete all and then I start adding the ones that I like. In this example, I'm going to add the 1 day 5 minute, the 1 day 1 minute, the 5 day 5 minute, the 5 day 15 minute, the 5 day 4 hour, the 1 year 1 day, the 3 month 1 day, and the 5 year 1 month. Depending on how you're trading, you may need to add different time frames as well. Feel free to add your personal favorite time frames to this list as it'll make it easier for you to toggle them in the future. So now we're going to add the Bollinger Bands indicator. So you want to click on the studies icon next to the settings icon and then you type in Bollinger Bands. You double click on Bollinger Bands, and then you hit Apply. Then you want to add Volume, and you want to choose the one that says Volume AVG. Hit Apply, and then OK, and that will pull up the average volume at the bottom of your chart as well. So now what I like to do is add a couple more charts. So you want to click on the grid icon in the top right of your screen and click Customize Grid. If you click the middle icon, you'll then be able to type in another ticker when the chart pops up to your right. Then you want to change the time frame to match the time frame of the chart to your left. So I'm going to change it to one year, one day. And then I'm going to add a study. So you see that the volume study is already there, so I'm only going to add Bollinger Bands here. Now we're just going to add a couple more charts, so I like to have four charts. So you want to hit the first button in the middle icon and you can add two charts under each of the two we already have and then you want to add the same settings that we just added. So add Bollinger Bands to each chart and change the time frame to one year, one day. Once you've finished editing the other two charts, you want to save this grid so you can load it anytime you want. Click on the grid icon in the top right and click Save Flexible Grid As. Type in a name you'd like to save it as. I'm going to say fours because there's four charts. And hit save. Now you can load this flexible grid whenever you'd like and look at these four charts. Now that we have one grid saved, another one that I like to add is the price channel. So I add the price channel indicator by clicking on the studies and adding price channel. I click apply and then click OK. There are two main time frames I like to look at the price channel indicator on. The first is the five year month. This typically gives me an overall trend of the company. The second time frame I like to look at is the three month one day. The bottom of the price channel on this time frame can typically give you a good long term entry point. Once you've added your price channel indicator, go back to the grid icon at the top and click save flexible grid as and save it as whatever you'd like. Now if you go back to the grid icon at the top right, you can toggle between your forest grid and your price channel grid so you can see them both every time you load Thinkorswim. 
The next thing I like to do is go back to my price channel grid and open up studies. I want to remove price channel and add MOV AVG exponential. So this will give you the exponential moving averages. You want to add three of them and then you want to edit the first one. So hit the settings gear and go in and you want to change the color to red. Then you want to change the length to 200. And then the second one, I like to go in and I like to change the color to yellow and I want to change the length to 50. And the third one, I want to go in and I want to change the color to green and I change the length to 20. This will give me my 20, 50, and 200 day moving averages. I like to set them at green, yellow, and red to symbolize a stoplight. The 20 day is green, symbolizing things are going well. The 50 day is yellow, symbolizing we need to slow down. And the 200 day is red, symbolizing we need to stop. Now, we're just gonna save our custom grid as we have before. I'm gonna name this one Exponential Moving Averages. You can name it whatever you'd like. And this will allow you to access this custom grid with your exponential moving averages whenever you want to. Now that we have created three grids, you can now toggle back and forth between them by clicking on the grid icon in the top right of your screen and selecting the one you want. Feel free to make any changes to these grids by adding additional studies like RSI or other indicators. Just don't forget to save your grid after adding them. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you'd like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Thank you all for watching and happy learning.